I recently had the amazing opportunity to sit down with local photographer Brendan Restool. Here are a few moments from our conversation that day. Choose like a certain thing, I don't think I'd be able to, but I can definitely tell you that if I compare my old photography or like where it started, I think it just like, it was this like fun thing to do with friends, like just do these little photo shoots and like their basement and like make little outfits with like the clothes they have. It was just like kind of for fun. And honestly, probably just to take like a nice profile photo is how it started. Like there was truly, I'd say <clears throat> no instant realization that this was like something I'd continue to pursue. It was just like, I got gifted a small camera one Christmas and just started taking photos for fun. And then <clears throat> my friends and I just kind of wanted to just take more photos and then as like the years went by I just kind of dwelled deeper into like different themes and like different like techniques and it just kind of like grew into what it is now and it, honestly it's like a nice surprise to know that this was something I'd actually like end up being like pretty good at if I may say to be honest but yeah I think that my want for, for photography was wanting to like, document like life as like I'm as what photography was made for to document like memories and like it just went from like that to like fully planning like photo shoots and like hitting up people to like do it and it was like yeah it grew to something like I never expected would have came to this and I kind of love it because I keep learning every day and like it just draws me in more every other day yeah I love it it's probably most of like millennial Gen Z. That's how it started was I just wanted a cute profile. Thing. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. And it's funny to think it's now that like I now use like Photoshop and have like a somewhat good knowledge. There's still so much learned to learn about Photoshop and I feel like it never ends to be honest. But like, I don't know if you remember Pick, Pick Monkey. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That was my Photoshop. And I like look back at these photos that Facebook has the audacity to keep reminding me of that like, wow, like you went from thinking this like edit with this like quote from a like random song was like beyond revolutional and like here I am now. And I'm like, wow, the difference is just like crazy. And I just keep <laughs> getting better. Honestly, like it's fun. It's fun yeah, to like to see how like I started off and just where I'm going with it. It's interesting, definitely. <laughs> I would say like photography definitely definitely sinks in in a more like personal way in the sense that I te definitely take a lot of photographs throughout the day either that be me others quite literally like sections of my house there's always just like this sense of like wonder and every little thing like the light lighting is always different so the way I see things changes every day and like there's just I don't know I've definitely my photography definitely centers around people as you'll come to see it's definitely a own fashion photography, but like, <clears throat> despite how my photography is aimed around that, I definitely do like to take photographs of other things. It actually like kind of forces me to like see things differently because I can't like, you, like, you know, I can't move buildings around. I can't change trees around to like fit my needs. So it's definitely like <clears throat> helped me with my own like photography and like placing people and just like seeing like what's the word i'm looking for right now i don't know like being forced especially nowadays like COVID, i can't like i can't meet with people to take photographs as like easily as i once was able to so now being forced to like i guess satisfy my needs for, for photography i am like forced to like take photos of like nature and stuff like that which isn't like my strong suit and I honestly used to resent it because like <laughs> because I couldn't like because I didn't have like, that sense of control and that's what like also like why I like photography because like it helped me like control things especially in high school and like art classes despite learning so much you're like limited so like my photography definitely like changed a lot throughout the 
years. Yeah, it definitely sinks into my everyday life from like just taking photos for the fun of it. I still try to like make it appealing to my eye because all yeah. in all at the same time, like <clears throat> when I'm taking photographs, just like how, although I do want people to enjoy the photos I'm taking, it's most often like like for me, like I'm I'm trying to like execute this vision that I want to see take life. And I'm just kind of hoping people will enjoy what I'm like hoping to express. So like, yeah, from like posting photos of just fire hydrants and murals and just like those like little things that just, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but like every, everything around me is just like forces my creativity to want to come out despite what people might think of like, oh, but that's just a photo of this. It's just how you see things. And I think that's, yeah, it's played a big part. It's an important it's lesson, part. yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. I, I love these pieces too, by the way. I Thank almost forgot you. about them, it's been so long. Right, I definitely yeah. love going into the archives and seeing these. It's beautiful. These in particular, definitely like my favorite collaboration because I did that with my friend Mark, which is an amazing artist. He like uh, creative, like direct, he creatively directed like the shoot, styled it, and he definitely like has hella like, for the shoots we have like collaborated collaborated on he's definitely helped me like solidify my vision and he was like as i said earlier like those friends i was taking those like photos with for just like pictures he was like one of them and he was definitely the one who like helped me discover that photography was something i actually wanted to keep like pursuing Yeah, this piece here, it's amazing. It, it looks like from history. It's just so, cool. Thank so muted. You. To that yeah. lead, saying that, that definitely leads me. This is probably one of like my like favorite shoots I've done. Because you'll come to see with some other photographs, there was a part where I didn't know how to use the studio lights because I rented this space at the school I, at uh, Cambrian College when I was like in design and visual arts and despite taking a class to learn how to use the studio I when the time came and I went to go use it I didn't know how to use the studio lights but I I honestly made a beautiful mistake and it I ended up so great and like mm -hmm. this photo shoot in particular I have like I like I get this like strong sense of inspiration especially from like a renaissance paintings i love like a dramatic light the contrast and like warm tones i like something to look comforting but also intense delicate and intense yeah i would say is how i want my photography to look like so in this one in particular and the simplicity of it i loved it the like angles of the hands the like f fake berries and like just i don't know the like the something about this photograph is just like very timeless to me so mm. i've definitely like yeah this this photo shoot in particular is has was definitely a moment where i was like wow like it was like almost like a milestone like i was yeah. I, after like while going through the photographs i was like holy like this is like like good job <laughs> like i was like really proud of like the outcome of the work i managed to like get despite me getting angry while at the studio because i was like unable to like use the like light fixtures at the studio like to their full capacity i had to work with what i knew and honestly i was so content when i got home with like what i managed to like capture so yeah Oh, it's amazing. And I, it's cool too, like looking at your pieces, this does seem a bit of a turning point where things got a bit like a warmer tone. Yeah, honestly, now that you mentioned that, I would agree with that. I yeah. definitely can like, even like now there are some photographs that will have like a cooler effect, but mm -hmm. there's just something about like having so much negative space and having the subject like more bold despite him only wearing a black shirt in this like picture, it's, he still like stands out. There's like an intensity in his like face. I don't know, like I've just like, ever since the shoot, as you said, I, I definitely think it was a turning point, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you so much for watching our first episode of Meet the Artist. Have a lovely day, stay safe and stay creative.